Stardew Valley is so good. We can own a farm, Megan. Ooh! We can, we can have our we can farm have house a virtual together. Farm. Through our virtual farm, we will plan our real dream farm to me commune. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we've told Ivan, too. We're like, hey, you know, if this whole farm thing works out, you're going to mow the lawn, right? You know? Exactly. We'll, we'll let you have a... We'll get him a he can again. have, like, a riding mower. Yeah, you know. we'll get him a riding mower. We're not going to torture him, torture yeah. him. Just a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a little bit of torture. We should get yeah, him a straw hat. He, yeah, no. You know what he's going to get? He's going to get one of the Asian rice paper hats. That's like the... <laughs> Like he's gonna be the agent Mexican. Oh my gosh, yes. It's gonna be great. And he's gonna have his little Asian man fun. He'll tend to the rice paddy fields. Time for the weeb homestead. Yes. The weeb homestead. Yes. What would we grow, Megan? What crops would you want to grow? Uh, I mean, I really want to start with chickens. You gotta have some chickens. Yeah. And I want to have flowers that are really good for pollinators. Butterflies and bees, mm -hmm. you know, honey. And then we gotta raise yes. some, some herbs because I like my mint tea and lemon balm is good. I like my potatoes. I want to learn how to grow potatoes. I have heard that that's pretty difficult. I've had good luck with like carrots, radishes, and I've done squash Ooh. and green beans. Okay, I want an orchard. Cherries. Yeah, so like cherries and peaches and hmm, we should go tropical. Cherries, peaches, see if we can do some mango. Peaches, man. I'd love to do lots of berries too. Yeah, berries would be fun. If we do grapes, we can have a vineyard, a little winery. Yes, grow yes. some muscadine grapes. That's how we do here down south. Yeah, we can do this, guys. We can do we this. Can. If you keep it simple and you make it work for you, I'm not out to like sell my goods and make money off of it. I just want to work together with people so that I have good food in my home. You want it to be enough for you. Yeah. Personally. For me. Like a personal I don't want to food. completely 100% rely on major grocery chains. I want to rely on myself and my neighbors who are also doing the same thing and local farmers do you like, know your farmer and how they feed their cows and whatever and inject into them and you know or don't yeah not to, to be super conspiracy but like it would when you think about it, i mean after covid i think all of us are more on edge yeah that we've seen things just break down mm -hmm. and now we're like oh my god like it is possible that like we could run out of toilet paper you know yeah. someone's not gonna come pick up my trash because there's a uh, people everyone's sick you know what i mean so mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy that things like that can happen at a moment's notice so at least knowing how to grow a few things would be very very helpful so that you wouldn't starve and die Exactly. And it brings you peace of mind when you feel like you have some control over your situation mm -hmm. instead of living in like constant like nervous anxiety, right? You, you're you like, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. And I know that I have a friend that can do this. And we're going to help each other. And then you have that that more of that peace and then you can make it through. Thanks. Oh my gosh, 314, you're an ap apocalypse prepper. You aren't running out of toilet paper. Oh, it was Ooh. him. He's the one during COVID that took all the toilet paper. <gasps> what? Actually, COVID is when I signed up for my toilet paper delivery service. Uh, I use Who Gives a Crap, if anyone knows what it is. I'm just so glad I did it because they're the funniest company ever. I'm gonna let y'all just look it up. Who Gives a Crap does bamboo toilet paper. They're just a really funny company. They have jokes on all their boxes when they send you toilet paper. But for half of the profits that they make goes to building toilets for people who don't have them. They're the funniest company. They're propaganda, not their propaganda, they're... Um, their just social media is so funny for what was it valentine's day they said you could send them your ex's like love letters and they would turn it into toilet paper for you <gasps> no yes That's so their awesome. big valentine's day campaign was like a huge deal in companies where was this when they needed it That's with them. i'm saying <laughs> it was so funny so i'm like not only are they good for the planet better for the planet than most toilet paper companies they're helping other people and they're funny as hell That's so <laughs> they're like would you like to wipe your butt with your ex's love now we've got you <laughs> i was like oh my god it's so that's funny. amazing that's so if y'all ever run idea. out of toilet paper again who gives a crap never ran out and i was sitting pretty on my toilet who thinks that who gives a crap so should sponsor shorty who gives yeah. a crap <laughs> 
I want it. Would you so accept badly. sponsorship from Who Gives a Crap? Would you do the it? The second I reach my 1K, I'm reaching out and I'm like, look, I'm small but mighty, just like poo poos. Please sponsor me. <laughs> they are funny like that. Everything they do is a poop joke. Like, they Love do it. not take okay, their jobs I'm like too seriously. sold on them now. And I, I, y'all, I used this toilet paper and I was at Shorty's house. I used it. Mm -hmm. It's good toilet paper. It works. And it <laughs> doesn't feel like cardboard on your butt cheek. Let me just tell you. <laughs> I know people are like, that probably doesn't feel good. Look, it ain't no quilted northern. But you know, you're not going to be <laughs> You know like, what? <laughs> it's a poop. Do we have to be yeah. that fancy? Do we need so four-ply quilted whatever? Exactly. Go get a bidet. A bidet I mean, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> For today's sponsor, are you having a shitty day? Have you quit giving a shit? Are you dealing with a bunch of shit? Yes. That's what Amazing. I want. That's what I want when I get sponsored by them. Yes. <laughs>